the pack switches are battery powered and control respective pack valve operation. With the pack switches off, the pack valves are closed and the air mix valves are driven to their full cold position. When air is available in the crossbleed manifold, the pack switches are moved to the on position. The pack cooling door position indicators display the position of the ram air cooling inlet and exhaust doors. The three position pack cooling door switches control the operation of the ram air cooling inlet and louvered exhaust doors. Holding the switches to open opens the ram air cooling doors. Holding the switches to closed closes the ram air cooling doors. Releasing the switches to the center position stops ram air cooling door movement. Pack temperature indicators display the ACM compressor discharge temperature of the respective pack. The cabin temperature selectors control the position of the air mix valves in either the auto or manual mode. The control cabin temperature selector controls the position of the left air mix valve and the passenger cabin temperature selector controls the position of the right air mix valve. With the cabin temperature selectors in auto, control and passenger cabin temperatures are selected by the second officer. The selected temperature is maintained automatically by a temperature regulator, which controls the position of the air mix valves. The air mix valve position indicators display the position of the left and right air mix valves. Selecting the detented manual mode of the cabin temperature selectors freezes the air mix valves in their last position. Air mix valve position is controlled by holding the selector in either warm or cool. An air temperature indicator displays the air temperature of selected areas in the distribution system and passenger cabin. The air temperature selector controls which temperature is displayed on the air temperature indicator. The supply positions display the forward or aft sidewall supply duct temperature. The main supply position displays the passenger cabin supply duct temperature. And the cabin positions display the ambient temperature in the respective cabin zones. With the cabin temperature selectors in the auto mode, duct temperature limit sensors in the left and right air conditioning ducts limit the respective air mix valves to a preset maximum output temperature. A control cabin temperature sensor provides feedback to the temperature regulator for automatic control of the left air mix valve. A passenger cabin temperature sensor provides feedback to the temperature regulator for automatic control of the right air mix valve. A cabin air distribution selector on some aircraft mechanically adjusts cabin airflow between the overhead and sidewall vents. Some aircraft are not equipped with a cabin air distribution selector. These aircraft have preset baffles installed in the distribution system to equalize the airflow between the vents. The Gasper fan switch controls the operation of the Gasper fan. Moving the switch to on augments the cold air from the left pack air mix valve or pulls air from the air conditioning distribution bay supplying it to individual outlets in the cockpit and passenger cabin. The captain's and first officer's foot and windshield air outlets are operated by control knobs. An aft cabin zone temperature system maintains an even temperature throughout the passenger cabin 
whenever the right pack is operating. The aft cabin zone temperature indicator is centered, the right pack temperature control is in auto, the forward cabin temperature selector is set and stabilized, the right pack air mix valve is one quarter or more out of full cold, and the cabin air distribution selector, if installed, is in the mid to sidewall range. Two valves in the sidewall air distribution ducting direct hot air from the right pack to either the forward or aft cabin sidewall ducts. An aft cabin zone temperature valve position indicator displays the position of the two aft cabin zone valves. The aft cabin zone temperature switch controls the operation of the aft cabin zone temperature valves. Holding the switch to warmer opens the aft valve, directing hot air to the aft zone, which warms the aft cabin. Holding the switch to cooler opens the forward valve, directing hot air to the forward cabin. The passenger cabin temperature sensor senses the increasing air temperature in the forward cabin and signals the air mix valve to a cooler setting. This maintains a constant forward zone temperature while cooling the aft zone. Cargo compartment heat is supplied by air leaving the passenger cabin. A cargo heat outflow switch controls the operation of the cargo heat outflow valve. With the switch in normal, the cargo heat outflow valve is open. Placing the switch to close closes the cargo heat outflow valve, stopping airflow around the forward cargo compartment. The cargo heat outflow valve will close automatically when the pressurization outflow valve nears its full closed position. A cargo valve closed light illuminates when the cargo heat outflow valve closes. The air conditioning system has an auto pack trip feature designed to reduce engine bleed air extraction and electrical loads in the event an engine failure occurs during takeoff or initial climb. To arm the auto pack trip system, the aircraft must be on the ground with the inboard flaps out of the up position. All three engine epers must be above 1.5 and the auto pack trip switch must be in normal. The auto pack trip armed light illuminates if the system is armed. After takeoff, the auto pack trip system is disarmed automatically when the flaps are fully retracted or by placing the auto pack trip switch to cut out. 